I talk a lot about like sex in my poems. So just from the first line, like watching the audience's reaction, they're like, who is this? And what is she saying? I'm very shy. <laughs> Ooh, but now everyone will know it. <laughs> <laughs> when I finish a poem, sometimes people don't know, like, should we clap? Should we, like, are we supposed to argue? Like, this, that, taking the audience through a journey, I feel like that's my favorite part. My name is Mumbi Macharia, also known as Mumbi Poetry. I am a performing spoken word poet. I'm a writer, self-published author, blogger, event curator, and some might say an influencer. An influencer to me is someone who has the effect of inspiring people through their creative process and also someone who's able to spark conversation. How did you become an influencer? I would say I became an influencer not on purpose, inadvertently, just by sharing my work and my writing, um, work that makes people talk about certain topics that they weren't um, able to talk about before so confidently and openly. Um, so I think that's how I became an influencer. Knowing that my voice and my thoughts are important enough to make people think, it's validating to my work to know that people care enough to listen to it take it and turn it into something else, however they interpret my work. Well, I've been writing and performing for about six or seven years. I started by performing at open mics in Nairobi, so like Kwani Open Mic, um, Poetry After Lunch at the National Theatre, then competing in SLAM. I competed in SLAM Africa in 2016 and I was second place. Um, and then from there, hosting my own poetry shows in Nairobi, performing, headlining poetry shows, not just in Nairobi, but also I've performed in Kampala and Dar es Salaam, and just sharing my work on social media. Wow, um, very different. Um, it depends in what creative mode I'm in. So if I'm in a creative mode when I'm writing a lot, like right now, I'm writing not poetry at the moment, but short African stories. Um, so I read a lot. I'm currently reading, I think, two books. Um, and then when I read, I write, read, write. Um, because writing fiction um, is very different from poetry because this character, developing characters is proving to be very challenging for me because this is the first time I'm doing it. So my work day is a lot of research and reading. One, you have to be confident in your work um, because it's very easy for you to put out your work and then get discouraged when at first people aren't interacting with your work or you're not getting the type of responses that you would want. So you first need to believe in your work and be confident in your work and know that there is someone who's going to relate to it. I remember I used to be so scared of putting my poetry out because I'd be like, what if no one listens? And then a friend told me, do it for the people who listen. Whether a million people listen, whether six people listen, do it for those six people who will listen. And if you have a message, you owe it to yourself to honor your creativity, to put it out. Having the wrong intention is the biggest mistake um, someone can make in the influencer industry. Um, why you get into it, I think, plays a big role in how your career goes. Um, so if you get into it solely looking for clout or um, just looking for fame, all of that is very fleeting. And so at some point you're going to run out of, you're not going to stay true to yourself um, and it's going to be very fleeting. Your 15 seconds might not even be 15, it will be less. Some of my poems 
might be not controversial but like just topics i talk a lot about like sex in my poems so just from the first line like watching the audience's reaction and they're like who is this and what is she saying um to now progressing um in the poem when people are actually like oh okay this kind of nice um just that transition of watching the audience just go through a journey with me and by the time i finish the poem i always used to say that like when i finish a poem sometimes people don't know like should we clap should we like are we supposed to argue like this that taking the audience through a journey i feel like that's my favorite part so libation is my baby <laughs> my debut ep um it's called libation because a libation is an offering um to uh, our ancestors or a deity And so this being my debut EP um it just felt right that before moving on to other projects in my career that this be a libation to my ancestors or you know just the the people who came before me who did so much with poetry and storytelling and music so this is just a libation to honor my roots yes. what will we find on the You will find five poems on the EP. Um these are poems, some of them that I've written since I first started writing poetry, but I've never put out a project, um a body of work of poetry. So it was very important to me to do this and now especially I feel like I'm more confident in my work. And yeah, you're just going to find five poems that have been the most monumental in my poetry journey. So you can find me online on social media at Mumbi Poetry on all platforms and my website is mumbimacharia.com. I do blog posts, I write about mostly interesting things, so go check it out.